were held in New York City Sunday evening to honor those killed in the recent shooting incident in Orlando, Florida, in an interface vigil on the steps of Judson Memorial Church in Manhattan, people sang for the 50 people who lost their lives. My take on what happened this morning is really a, a, a crime against people who are just out celebrating, having a good time. It's it's the middle of Pride Month, and um, just some misinformed, mis misdirected individual who just took it upon himself to lash out at innocent people. Um, I don't know. That, I mean, yes, it's it's a crime against. Gay people, but it was also caused because of we have gun violence. You know the different traditions coming together and mourning together and affirming our love for each other, and that we have to keep trying to make the world a better place. And in Jackson Heights, one of the most diversified community in New York, people also voiced their anger and sympathy. Well, I think it's a terrible event that this happened this morning. Um, but it's very important that hatred not be able to rule people, and that there's people here from everywhere in the world that care about each other, that are friends with each other, and the fact that we can stand together and be united, and whether it's give each other a hug or do the things that we need to do to, as friends to help take care of each other. That's what I think is the direction that the world can go in. So we are gathered here. We are giving a strong message to the world that we are united against these crimes, against this extremism, and this extremism has nothing to do with any faith.、Um, and we're going to learn of their stories and their journeys. They're human beings, like all, like you, like me. It could be any of us.、Um, I feel akin because I met. They were. I am gay, like they were. And you look for safe spaces just to celebrate, just to dance. It is so human.、Um, so I think here in the United States there is a great problem with access to guns. Hate is something is a weapon. Also, it is in the ways we think and speak, and、uh, we have to. That's a great prejudice we have to work on. And I think it's a big issue here: is access to weapons. Is a big problem in this country.